Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Bob. Hey, I wanted to show you guys uh, what I did with the rest of the refrigerator that I got the pump out for the silent air compressor. Basically, what I did was took these panels off, and it, they're nice and straight, and they got texture to them, and these will make nice uh, metal to have. And this came out of the top of it, of the refrigerator. I just cut all the corners and got all the pieces out of it. And some of this I'm going to use to, I'm going to take a scraper and scrape all that off the bottom at foam and uh, coat the top of my um, counters underneath where the grinder is because when you got metal shavings hitting, or metal grinding hitting the wood you don't want to catch it on fire so this will make a nice backsplash, backsplash and a top for the grinder desk or bench and then I got this in case I wanted to use it for something uh, who knows you never know what but over here's the rest of it the um, doors um, I went through five grinding wheels to cut the other pieces there so i wasn't about to use five more on these refrigerator it would have probably took that many for the refrigerator doors so i said to hell with it i ain't cutting them out anyway got my truck on charge here um, see what's going on down here oh my god my motor's dirty I gotta get in here and do some cleaning. It's so damp here, man. Look at all that black stuff on my carburetor underneath there. On the distributor. That's just happened in the last two or three months. Of course, I don't run this truck very often. Got my gauges up there. And that's why I have to do this all the time. Um, every time I come out here, I gotta charge this truck up. And it's because I don't drive it, but once every three months don't even move but anyway here is the rest of that refrigerator believe it or not all that is is just a piece of foam with the plastic inside that's where all the shelves set and this side was where the metal was so basically the only metal in that thing is what I cut out. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you guys what how to recycle some uh, refrigerators in a way that uh, it can be helpful to you in the future. Now I've got my stereo blasting, so... Uh, and it's a good song too, man. I love Collective Soul. Love it, man. So anyway, we'll go ahead and shut the door and turn the music down. Alright, so I'm going to put you up here on the tripod. I got a leak in my air compressor I just noticed that um, I just got finished doing the video for this one it's in there saving right now but anyway I got these and that just uh, slides in there like so and uh, back there well, these are a little easier to get apart when they're up But I'm going to zoom in there and I'll show you what I'm thinking about doing with these. 
way back there in the back. What I planned on doing was put me a piece of plywood right here and put them shelves right there all the way up. Of course, I'm going to have to rearrange slide back and forth. So we can just put these shelves right there and that that'll work. Alright, then I mean I got the most out of this refrigerator. Alright, so then I got the drawers out of it and I got three of these and this one's the big one. Or no this this one's the medium size one. I've got a large, medium, and small. And basically, this here is the slide, drawer slide. So all I gotta do, take me some screws, drill, drill this out, put me some screws underneath the counter somewhere, and then I've got me some drawers that come out far enough that I can use them and I can use this for like sandpaper and one drawer and a little one uh, my small router and a bunch of other stuff in here and you can't put a whole lot of weight in them but you can put enough in them and uh, we're going to mount them around the shop here in different places and uh, that way I got a little more drawer space so um I'm probably not going to video that. Uh, this is basically a uh, just to show you what you can do, uh, how you can use a refrigerator to serve a lot of purposes. You know, when it's no good for one thing, don't mean it's not no good for something else. Um, that's what it's all about: is recycling your your old stuff to make new stuff. And uh, I can't stress that enough that you don't have to go out here and spend hundreds of dollars for a shelving system or a drawer system to buy slides and buy the wood and stuff like that. When you've got the makings right there, it's already made. All you got to do is just modify it. So uh, there's several ways that you can recycle in that. All right, here's another example. Right here is a perfectly good working fan. I did keep the pigtail that went on the other side of this so that I can cut it off and use it to plug it in or off or whatever I want. And, um, I mean, that's a nice fan. It works great. So, I had thought about making a frame here for this and putting that right there and using it for an exhaust fan or uh, when I'm in here painting or something like that, the fumes won't gag me to death. I've already got a vent there that was for the uh, stove on the, when I had the stove right here. Because this used to be a, we used to live in this camper. So, you know, I could, I could make that work right there. Um, so that's just another piece out of it. So pretty much everything except for the styrofoam and the plastic, I was able to use. Even, even the handles. I'll show you something else here. Do those not look like handles for a drawer? They, they sure could be. I could take and camouflage the white part with some uh, camouflage duct tape and make me a drawer, uh, just to give you an example, and then I can just pull my drawer open with it. And uh, I can make these any size I want. All I gotta do is take these two screws out, pop that off, cut that down, put it down here, drill, whatever. And then if I did that, I'd use that piece there for something else, somewhere down the line. Uh, I am a recycler. <laughs> then we got then we got these things 
here I've got four of these. I've got two this size and I've got two longer ones and they even have the face cover for them. I mean you can use that for anything and I'll give you an example right now. Let's say I had enough of that and I ain't none too sure I'm not going to do this. I just now thought of that. I could put a rail across that and it's about the right width. I mean, this one here would have to work for the side, but yet, oh, you got to see this. <laughs> you got to see this. Check this out. Let's uh, say that I had the longer one. I could put that right there. All I have to do is mount that. Once I've got it mounted, put my beauty ring in it. And you got a nice little beauty ring. I could paint it blue. And it would match the rest of the, uh, that would be cool. <laughs> well, I love it when I come up with ideas like that. But I'm pretty sure I got all the material for that. Yes, sir. <laughs> I got two of these long ones. They were for the beauty ring or beauty thing on the bottom of the uh, refrigerator or on the refrigerator doors over and under the handle. So we got that one and we got that one. We've got the other piece for here, the other chrome piece for here. My God, that'll work. But, you know, that's just giving you ideas of how you can recycle uh, something as simple as a refrigerator. You know, stuff like this right here, believe it or not, can be recycled. I have come across a few things where I needed a flat piece of uh, white plastic. And, and I'll give you an example on that. Uh, if you check out my gun build or gun, um, gun stock build for my Benjamin Discovery, you'll see that I needed to use a white piece of plastic in the, uh, fore end of the stock where I cut the uh, tip off of it at an angle and then I glued in a piece of white plastic and, uh, put pins in it and then put the uh, end cap back on it and then I just filed all that down with the, the contour of the stock so you know even plastic like that can can work for in your favor you know it saves you money down the road you know just like them panels out there um, you can use just about anything out of it except for the foam and I'm sure there's a use for that too just not for me so um, that's just how I've recycled the uh, refrigerator uh, re I recycled the pump out of it and made this air compressor that still needs a little bit of work uh, get the unloader valve and um, uh, fix the leak it's got a leak somewhere I think it's in this year pop off valve. But anyway, there's how you recycle just some of the ways that you can recycle a refrigerator. And um, you guys have a good one. Later.